What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the spot price of silver reaching and surpassing now the $23 an ounce mark and I really hope it slows down but it's not just silver we have to talk about. We got to talk about the spot price of gold as well but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, we got t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, precious metal themed, along with a bunch of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stacking t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the Silver Kraken two ounce coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but wow silver really is on the move and as i said in yesterday's video it has been shocking the world i've had people comment on my videos as recent as just sunday night telling me that silver will never pass the 20 dollars mark again and sure enough just a few hours later monday morning boom silver moves up i talked about silver hitting the 20 dollars mark talked about silver hitting the $21 mark. And as soon as I posted that $21 video, silver moved up to $22 an ounce. It outdated my video within a couple of hours. The following day, I talked about $22 an ounce silver. And sure enough, as I posted that video, silver goes to $23 an ounce. And here I am talking about $23 an ounce silver, hoping to God it doesn't hit 24. But I wanted to talk about this today because silver is on the rise but it's not just the silver it's the gold as well let me put a little 10th ounce gold eagle the one i always show off and a little 10th ounce gold maple that i always show off as well there on the screen for you guys to look at silver not only hit and surpassed the 23 dollar an ounce mark as i'm recording this video i think it's actually just below 23 dollars now but the highest I saw it go was about 23 and a quarter, which is mind blowing to me. But gold at the same time is almost at its all time high. Today, when I checked the spot price of gold, it hit $1,900 an ounce. Yes, that's right, $1,900 per troy ounce of gold. I did not think that would happen. And it's actually a little bit higher. It's going up and down a little bit, but not too much away from the $1,900 mark. And for those of you who do not know, I believe the all-time high for gold was $1,920 and change or, or something like that. It's, it's only off by about $20 or so. And for those of you who are familiar with the precious metal, the beautiful yellow metal gold, $20 north or south is not too extreme for gold. Gold has gone up far more than $20 within a 24 hour period. It's gone up hundreds of dollars. It's gone down hundreds of dollars. And I would not be the slightest bit surprised if we were to see gold reach its all time high as early as the end of this week. That would not surprise me. And here's why. It's only about $20 away. Maybe even less by the time I finish filming and then finish editing and then post the video. Who knows what the spot price of gold is going to be by the time that happens. But as I'm recording it, it's about $1,900. And that is absolutely a nine-year high. It might not be an all-time high, but it's a nine year high. So if anyone out there watching this video right now is anything like me, you might be sitting between a rock and a hard place right now because silver right now is obviously not a nine year high or an all time high by any means, but it's still up there. $23 an ounce. And by the way, those of you who have been watching my videos, I posted a couple days ago saying that if silver were to surpass the $20 mark, we probably would have an incredibly difficult time getting our hands on American Silver Eagles for under 30 bucks. And what happened the day silver hit $20 an ounce? 
Quick little reminder in case you guys didn't see the video I posted the other day, here it is. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. That's right, $30 and up for American Silver Eagles. And by the way, that was when silver hit the $20 mark. Silver is now $23 an ounce, and I checked just a couple minutes ago, a lot of silver eagles are going for $32, $33, $34 a pop. That, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, is astronomical for a silver eagle at $23 an ounce, in my opinion and from my perspective. So as I've been saying, when it comes to the Silver Eagles right now, even though the Silver Eagle is the foundation of my stack, even though the Silver Eagle is what I stack primarily, predominantly, for the most part, I have not picked up a Silver Eagle in at least four months, maybe even a little bit longer. It had to have been the end of February or the beginning of March, one of the last times I placed an order online to pick up a little bit of silver had to have been at least four months ago. But over the course of the last four months, I did take a little bit of time off of stacking just because initially when Planet Earth shut down, I didn't know what in the world this could possibly mean. I didn't know anything. I knew for a fact I wasn't scared from a health perspective, but I was a little bit nervous. The financial perspective, I was like, oh my God. 10 million people made unemployment claims. Oh my God, now 20, oh 30, oh my God, now 40. More than 40 million people have made unemployment claims. That's a pretty scary number if you ask me. So I didn't know exactly what this meant or how long it was gonna last or, or what was really going to happen. So I took a step back away from the precious metals for a little while just because I figured it was probably better to have a little bit of cash on hand in case of an emergency, but I started to stack again, as I explained in yesterday's video or the video I posted the day before that. I've gotten some generic rounds, some generic bars. I've gotten quite a bit of 90% silver, the silver quarters, dimes, half dollars, stuff like that. I ended up getting this silver Kraken, which I'm very excited about. Arguably my new favorite piece of silver. And I also ordered a Queen's Beast which is still in the mail, it's still on the way, and I ordered a 10 ounce silver bar at Spot, which by the way, is arriving today. That's right, it is out for delivery. It should be here probably within the next two hours, I would assume. So you already know what the next silver unboxing video is going to be, a beautiful 10 ounce silver bar that I got at Spot, which by the way, when I ordered it, Spot was only $19 and change, so I don't really like to measure my wealth in dollars or anything like that, and I don't want to sit here and act like I'm one of the people who are flipping silver or anything like that, but you could say that I've already <laughs> made some gains, even though I don't really look at it that way. Hey, quick little update. It arrived. But I wanted to talk about silver and gold today because we're kind of stuck right now silver is up way up not all the way up but it is several 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 dollars higher than what we're used to what most of us are comfortable with a lot of us myself included we got spoiled with the 15 16 17 dollar an ounce silver with the one two maybe three dollar premiums we were walking away with an ounce of silver for $20 or less. That was spot price plus the premium. It still didn't even hit $20. A lot of us got spoiled. And hopefully, if you're the type of person I am, capitalized on that opportunity. As I've been saying over the course of the last two and a half years, Silver, in my opinion and from my perspective, I'm not a financial advisor, this is all speculation, and I'm just saying this for entertainment purposes only, I thought it was an opportunity. Anything below $20 an ounce to me seemed like an opportunity. And if I could pick up an ounce of silver with the premium included for less than $20, oh my God, I'm going full throttle. That's why in the summer and the fall of 2018 when silver was really low, $13, $14 an ounce, 
I backed up the truck for several months. I was placing multiple orders a week. Sometimes I would get three, four orders within a 10 day window. I was getting as much silver as I could possibly get. But right now, not to say that silver is anywhere near its all time high or past the point of no return or no longer an opportunity in my eyes, it's just a little bit more difficult to get our hands on right now because it's no longer $13, $14 an ounce, it's $22, $23 an ounce. The premiums are no longer a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. The premiums are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars over spot. So it's incredibly difficult to get our hands on silver right now. And during times like this, ideally, you would want to say, no big deal, not an issue. I'll focus on gold while I'm waiting for silver to begin making more sense. But gold is just as difficult right now, not to say that the premiums are through the roof, but spot price is through the roof. It's almost an all-time high for gold. $1,900 an ounce. Incredibly difficult to get your hands on. How many of you have $1,900 at your disposal that you are able to convert into just one piece of metal? Some of you, I'm sure, I'm sure you do. Some of us do, but how many of us are able to or willing to do that. You could solve the problem by getting some fractional gold. That's what I prefer. I don't like to convert such large, large, large portions of cash and pack it all into one metal. I wouldn't really want to have a one troy ounce gold coin. Well, scratch that. I would like to have a one troy ounce gold coin, but I'm personally not comfortable packing that much cash into one piece of metal. You know what I would prefer? over a one troy ounce gold coin, 10 one tenth of an ounce gold coins. Even though the premiums are a little bit higher, I would rather do it that way. I consider it to be a little bit more of a security expense, if that makes sense. I'd rather pay a little bit higher of a premium on a smaller piece of gold. That way, let's just say it were to get lost in the mail or it were to get stolen or just something were to go wrong, something happens, Losing a piece of metal that's worth about $190, excluding the premium, is a lot less of a heartbreaker than losing something worth $1,900, excluding the premium in the mail or if it were to get stolen or whatever the case may be. So the point I'm trying to make is both metals at this very specific point in time are tough to get our hands on right now just because silver... The whole supply and demand aspect, people are happily, enthusiastically paying the eight, nine, ten dollar premiums on not not even special silver, just silver eagles, Canadian maple leafs, they're really up there right now. Canadian maple leafs, I saw them going for 29, 30 bucks. And like I just said, the silver eagles were going for 32 bucks. People are happily with a smile throwing dollars their way to get their hands on silver. But for those of us who have an understanding of the metals and we're trying to get as much money for our currency, if that makes sense, it's a little bit disheartening. Is it a complete and total issue? Is it a deal breaker? No, not necessarily. Not for me anyway, because I don't really care that silver eagles are going for $32 right now because I know for a fact that generic silver rounds and bars are going for $24, $25, $26. might not be that huge of a difference, but it's a couple dollars less. And like I said, if I can save a little bit of currency while stacking the same amount of money, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'll have more currency left over to get even more silver, even more gold, even more money afterwards. So hopefully that makes sense to some of the people watching this right now. And another important thing to remember is that even though I'm a, not a big believer in the fear of missing out, I would much rather miss out than be controlled by the fear of missing out. I think you should also take into consideration or at least rethink those of you who are saying, I'm gonna wait for spot to drop, I'm gonna wait for the premiums to come down because that's not a guaranteed thing. We don't know for sure that spot price is going to come back down. We don't know for sure that premiums are going to be lowered. It's not promised, it's not guaranteed. And 
while you're sitting around waiting to get your hands on silver for $20 rather than $25 or more dollars, you're looking to save a little bit of cash while simultaneously spending time, which is an even more valuable asset, I always say. And during that time, who knows what spot's going to do? What if it continues to climb? What if right now, as I'm recording this video, spot price is $23, maybe a little bit less, $22 and change? Theoretically, this could be the lowest we ever see silver go again. There's no guarantee that silver will ever go back down under $20. Do I believe that it will? Yes, I do believe silver is going to go back into the teens. But I'm not a psychic. I'm not a wizard. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't have anything like that. I don't have a magic wand. I can't force it to happen. I can't make psychic predictions. And I'm also not a financial advisor. Friendly reminder, nothing on this channel is financial advice. So I'm not telling you to go and pick up silver when it's out of your comfort zone. But I think that's something that you should take into consideration. Silver may or may not go down. It may or may not go up. If you sit around waiting, ignoring silver at $22, $23 an ounce with three, four, five, six dollar premiums. Who knows what silver is going to do by the end of the week? What if it goes up to $24, $25, $26 an ounce? What happens next week or sometime the beginning or towards the middle of next month? What if silver cracks the $30 mark? What then? Again, do not be controlled by the fear of missing out. I think you should just weigh out the pros and the cons. I think that everybody should take a look at it from an objective point of view, from a logical perspective, and really think about it. Set your emotions to the side, set the fear to the side, set the excitement to the side, and actually look at what's going on right now. And look at all of the markets, not just silver, not just gold. Look at the other markets as well. Take a look at the stock market, look at the real estate market, look at the general state of the economy right now, and really try your best to study and develop an understanding of what's going on because maybe just maybe it can help you be one step ahead of the game and that could be a reward in and of itself if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to subscribe new videos every single day 365 days a year also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We recently hit 1,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal-themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, we have the relatively new Major Cheese Ball t-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug, and the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt hoodie and coffee mug as well, available in black, red, and blue. And it was clearly inspired by this beautiful two-ounce Canadian Creatures of the North Silver Kraken. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on the spot price of silver right now around the $23 an ounce mark? What are your thoughts on the spot price of gold right now around the $1,900 an ounce mark? What are your thoughts? Which of the two metals do you think may or may not be the move right now? Are you going to continue stacking both? Are you going to take a step away from one and focus more on the other because it makes more sense from your perspective? Or are you going to take a step away from both metals altogether because they're both just too high up and out of your comfort zone? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.